I decided to be a history teacher. It was my decision, of course. And uh, history in my country, in, in all Balkan, is pretty present in the life of the people. And unfortunately, very often is used and abused uh, by many people, especially politicians in the past and so on. And as a responsible teacher, I said, okay, it's my task to do something more. Uh, not only what I'm paid in the classroom, but to do something more with my colleagues from Macedonia, but from also from all around the Balkan, to improve the way of teaching and to reduce the possibilities of abusing of the history in some political purposes, uh, which can have uh, consequences on the everyday life of the people. And we have seen that. Yeah. This happened, in, unfortunately, in the past, in the last century, very often, with some difficult con consequences. Many people was involved in different wars. It was uh, many displaced people. So we were, not only me, but many of my colleagues, we were thinking that we should do something uh, for better future, I mean not of only of us but of our children's uh, next generations and so on yeah. yeah i grew up with history working as history teacher i will i should uh indeed to uh through educated my uh students uh improve my uh my society Maybe it looks like too ideologic, but I still believe in it. Okay. <laughs> Workshop uh, learning history that is not yet history. There is a group of teachers uh, from the region, from Serbia, Macedonia, Kosovo, Bosnia, and Montenegro. Uh, they try to make some uh, classroom activities with uh, El Chai repository. It's very important because uh, they work in the mixed group and uh, working with uh, controversial, sensitive topics and they try to make some uh, hmm, common approach on uh, history education when we're talking about uh, 19 wars. History can show us a way but also it can lead us to brick walls, to sideways, to go off a cliff and unfortunately year after year, decade after decade, century after century, history in our regions has most of the time put us in the wrong direction uh, because history wasn't used to say as okay these were mistakes here we should go even the way of supporting of, uh, of uh, national football teams is always used and abused for promotion of some kind of nationalism national pride you know to give you uh, to kick you back for example uh, as a revenge for something in the past, in you know, yeah. in the history, and people are stuck with that. You know, maybe it's unusual for other countries, but here in the Balkan, talking about history is happening always, always and everywhere. In the restaurants, even uh, I don't know, family celebrations, and so we are a bit occupied with it, <laughs> preoccupied with the with the history. Because if we talk about history uh, as a subject, there is no lot of interest of uh, in the society to deal with that. But if we talk about history as a history of uh, uh, nations, or there is a lot of uh, political misinterpretations, and uh, history is uh, in one way uh, 
tool for uh, <clears throat> preparing for next conflicts or wars on, or something like that. Many, if you talk about history, you talk about politics. You know, our politicians in, in, in the Balkan, they're, they're also promoting the historical topics in the campaigns and so on. Somebody said to me that, uh, you know, it's a result of lack of ideas for a better future. They, they offer you the glory of the past and so on. So. But instead of showing, okay, these were the mistakes, let's do it like this now, they are reinventing history, the feeling their national holes are their identical holes, and that has time and time proven a bad thing. History is very, very present thing. It's not past, at least here in, the, in the Bosnia and in the Balkan country. So while even I, while I was a student, when I was talking to some strangers, okay, saying I'm studying history or I'm a history teacher, I always get a people who had an opinion about it. So everything is connected with the history. So we, uh, common people are explaining the things, uh, modern things in a historical way. This happened to us because of the, some facts 600 years or 700 years ago. So um, being mature and even becoming a parent, I, be I become aware how it is important to have a different perspective to understand the things and I think that my mission is or at least I feel that my mission is just to open that discussion mm -hmm. about the history even recent and the, even the old old one because I think that we really deserve it we are still here in the Balkan countries presenting the history in an old-fashioned way there is one unique truth and nothing beyond it I I think that that's not okay. History is my profession. Uh, I'm a history teacher in the first place, and the second, I'm the uh, president of uh, Association of History Teachers in Serbia, and this is the job with uh, much responsibility. Things are changing, and we were in the forefront, in the like a flagship of change in education in our countries. Uh, we've been doing something since 2003 until 2014. It's been good, but I really think we need certain new approaches with certain new blood for that effect to have a more significant impact or to do something new. Because times are changing, we cannot do constantly the same things. It's pretty depressive when you see something, when you understand something, and you have a problem to convince your authorities. There is no possibility to make a serious, fast changes in the societies, you know? Yeah. And that frustrated me very often, you know? Yeah. Sometimes you feel that you hit the wall, but what keeps me uh, doing this is that I'm pretty much aware that I'm not alone. Mm -hmm. The circle is growing, there is more and more people who not only understand it, but they join the, the, the action and the mission, if I can say so. This, is, this kind of energy between the history teachers is something that really moves me. If we really want to be the change, to change something, then we have to be the change. It's up to us, it's not but by somebody other to change it for us. So now, very often here in the Balkans, you can hear like, you know, it's us and them. Them, they're like meaning the other nation, it's, it's a monolith stone-like. I said, no, 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 it's not like that. I have the example that the others were very kind to me and, mm -hmm. you know, talking about the people with real names and the feelings and the attitudes and exchange towards them. So having in mind those stories makes me proud. And also the work that we've done, joint history material, in this hysteric uh, period that we lived in the last 25 years, it's, it's a great achievement. And the pity thing is that this, what we've done in, in history education in the Balkans is much more valued abroad than inside. 
I always feel very sad when my own community, my own government does not want to use me. So I can go abroad in, in very developed countries like South Korea, being accepted as an expert, but I, I'm not good for my own community. This is really that makes me huh, sad, but I think that I have nothing else to do instead of keep going and trying. I think the most important uh, project is uh, learning history that is not yet history with uh, colleagues from Croatia, Bosnia and Montenegro. And uh, this was a very uh, interesting uh, opportunity to cooperate on very uh, sensitive and controversial subject as the uh, 90s war. We make the first step. Now it's very important to, to make uh, other step and yeah and continue with that uh, process as uh, when i had invitation uh, to cooperate with the countries uh, in this project uh, in region uh, really uh, to say honestly, I was, I was very happy because uh, we should start to work uh, together without international community. Because this is our future, uh, we cannot see ourselves uh, divided uh, from each other. We should cooperate, we should have mutual understanding, or we should discuss uh, without emotion and so and so. Well, the constant saying is that there are no funds that we cannot, that's why we cannot function alone. That's not actually true. Uh, if you just input or members of the association input maybe five hours a week, they can find funds. Not just from government, from intergovernmental organizations, from local communities, from local companies, things can be found. But like everything if you do in your life, maybe even at a certain point do some things voluntarily, do some propaganda, do some activism, then eventually funds will find you. It's different. I'm, I'm happy that there are such an opportunities like the Western Balkans Fund, which is basically financed by the Balkan countries. And uh, there is no someone from abroad to guide us. So this is a shift, a moment of shifting things like uh, here the five different history teachers association decided to go jointly. There is a great trust among us just to be here in Vajna Bashta and having together the teachers from Kosovo and teachers from Serbia in the same room without anyone from abroad to tell them you have to do it. This is the moment which I see that things are moving forward and there is no fear. There is trust. Of course, there are still issues to be overcome, but small steps. Yeah.